Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, oh, is that your dessert? Yeah. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I'm so happy to be recording again, y'all. I just did my little intro and outro for the dollhouse palette video. I just feel like it's been forever, but it's it's just been since Sunday. Anyway, I'm excited, y'all. First of all, I have had a great work week. I don't say that every week because this year, this school year has been a lot to say the least, but we have just been on cloud nine in my classroom for, and all this week, it has been amazing. And I'm so excited to do another purchase or pass video because wasn't able to check a whole lot of releases. I've been working on progress reports and then I just started to see some things. So I have my wine, hold on. <gasps> Did y'all hear him? Okay. August, I can't have you in here, I'm, sorry. I'm done. I can't. I don't wanna kick you out. Anyway, this is the Sutter Home Sweet Red with a little cap full of Bacardi Pineapple, yes. So if you want to go through these new makeup releases with me, well, you can come say hi, but you can't show your body. Hello. Okay, here he is. Wait, I, I can't show you. Um, if you wanna go through the new makeup releases with me and see what we're thinking about them, how we're feeling about, you know, anything that's coming out. All right. Oh, wow, that's really good. Do it back here because you're fuzzy. Okay, you're gonna have to work on that just a little bit. Just work on that. I'm Keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, you love talking about makeup, we just love it. It makes us so happy, even though it's like love hate because we're trying to do better this year. And if you want to connect with another makeup enthusiast that's trying to do better too, stick with me y'all. Consider joining the community. We'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. gonna go ahead and move over because once I get on a roll, I always forget to move over. All of the makeup sites that I am referencing will be in the description box. I am so excited y'all, because like I said, I just feel a little, a little bit out of the loop. Not a lot, but a little bit. All right, you guys, so this week, we are gonna go ahead and start off with JD Glow. So JD Glow is coming out with some new pressed pigment eyeshadows. There are six shadows and they are finely milled and they are $7.75 each. They are available now. Very beautiful and vibrant eyeshadow shades. They are just not for me, but they are gorgeous. I do have a few JD Glow shimmers, but I don't have any mattes, so I'm not sure what they're like. I have no clue about their mattes, but they look very, very nice. It is a pass for me though. So, all right, uh, let me let me just let me just get started. So Pat McGrath, she is releasing a new Dark Star. 006 v3 kit now i do believe according to my friend dr ash from dr ash and her makeup that she did have a dark star kit that released some time ago but she was telling me that the shade in that kit was very close to the blitz blue shade that's in the mothership one subliminal palette i don't have that i was not into pat mcgrath at the time i don't think i was into any makeup at that time this kit would be something new for my collection the multi-chrome shade does look very very beautiful and it does come with the mayron mixing medium and it looks like a black eyeliner and some type of gloss but this is definitely a pass for me this reminds me this shade what is this called oh vr Sextra Galactic. And this is a trio chrome eyeshadow, okay. And the Cyber Clear Eye Gloss. The eye gloss I already know is going to cause creasing for me. I'm pretty sure of that. And 
I think I probably have this type of multi-chrome shade in my eyeshadow singles collection. I also know that I don't typically go for singles, so there would be no point to add something like this into my collection. It's very unfortunate, but it's true. So I'm gonna have to pass on that. We have a new makeup release by Ace Beauté and they are releasing their Pout Perfect Lip Collection. They have five creamy pigmented lipsticks, they have seven velvety soft matte liquid lipsticks, and four smooth gliding lip liners. Whew. All right. Oh, and they have three lux lip glosses and a rejuvenating lip oil. I'm gonna pass on these. I continue to buy lip products that I don't need. I have not tried any lip products by Ace Beauté. They do look very pretty, but this is a pass for me. So we already have some foolery here in our midst. So let me get my drink because this is just too much for me and I'm just not sure how to handle this collection at this time. Now, of course, this collection is by the iHeart Revolution. And this collection is called The Big Cheese. Oh, it's called a cheese board collection. There's a big cheese eyeshadow palette with 18 shades, which is $15. Exactly. Cheese. Exactly, August. Cheese. They have a mini cheese palette with six shades. I'm going to get to the, the, the slides, the swipey swipe. That's $9. Then they have a Swiss cheese highlighter duo with two shades for $8 and a cheese lip balm that's strawberry scented. Who's a oh, and a cheese and mouse. Okay, mouse, no. I, first of all, I'm scared of mice. I do not like mice. There's a cheese and mouse sponge duo and it's available now and it should be available never. Let's look at this. Okay, first of all, on a cheese themed palette uh, like do you want to put on a pad cheese themed no. exactly because I sure don't like this it has divots in it like Swiss cheese this is too much oh my god no look at this cheese the mini cheese palette like this is like glam light gone wrong okay this makes me take back everything I've ever said about glam light because at least the glam light food theme palettes are tastefully done. This cheese, cheese. We've lost all the inspiration in the makeup community that we have to make a palette inspired by cheese. I don't care. I'm sorry to August because this is a tragedy. I'm trash. It's trash. I'm trash. No, you're not trash. What? The cheese palette is trash. I'm sorry, and I don't like to call things trash, but like, we couldn't think of anything else. Look at this cheese highlighter. I need help. This is just too much. I don't have a charger available in this room. And then there's a cheese lip balm. Not this sheer cheat, and it's shaped like cheese. I can't do this today, y'all. And see, honestly, I I typically don't even click on like anything by Makeup Revolution or iHeart Revolution or all the Revolution brands, but I just had to with this, and I am damn sure not putting on my makeup with a mouse sponge because I'm scared of mice. Like when there's mice in school, I haven't really had an issue in this school, but I've had some serious mice issues in schools over these past 19 years, I can't. I can't handle it and I won't. And I shan't. No, I'm not doing pranks either. This is terrible. This is horrible. Horrible. You wanna I don't. I have to move on because we just can't even spend the timeage on this. Let's go to ColourPop. Okay, it's not an eyeshadow palette. They've got some ultra blotted lip shades coming out. I have not tried these. I'm wondering if they're the shiny bombs that most people are coming out with. I do have two by Makeup by Mario that are supposedly gonna be here today. And I believe they went like viral on TikTok. So I was like, I really did wanna try, but 
we'll see when they get here these shades look very nice they're kind of deep they're not my typical shades but they do look really nice I'm gonna go ahead and pass on these so I wasn't even gonna click on this this is the wicked widow beauty brand but when I saw death proof metal liners I just got <laughs> intrigued like death wasn't there a movie called death proof it was like a car racing movie it was really good it was a Quentin Tarantino movie but I don't know does this I don't know if this is in relation to that because I think it was called death proof but anyway I'm curious about these death proof liners Shh. I'm not getting them I'm, I'm just curious about them I've never even heard of this brand more foolery we've got a lucky charms collection Marky would love this or just to see it by Morphe you know those brushes though because i'll tell you this i'm not a huge fan of the morphe brushes now that i've tried other brushes but my coca-cola brushes from the original coca-cola collection hold on these right here for some reason these brushes i really really love them and i don't have anything else from that collection but i did keep these brushes and i really love them so we've just got a basic rainbow palette with it looks like some liners so there's a magic artistry palette for 22 dollars and some lip gloss with marshmallow scent and a color pencil set with some brushes i do like the brushes i'm not going to get anything from this collection but you know they continue to pull these brands can hey stop I'm gonna get them. just go ahead I'm I cannot tell you how upsetting it was when I was editing this video to go up yesterday and I was editing it yesterday and saw that like all of it had no sound like the majority and what August did was he didn't pull the mic out or anything. I have a setting on here that switches from camera to iPhone. And he must have switched it to iPhone. So there was no sound, not only in this video. Let's get back into these makeup releases, you guys. I did not get far at all. Actually, let me get my paper because I had to write down the stuff that I already talked about. The last thing, see I had a paper and everything. The last thing that I talked about was brands pulling at our nostalgia with these collections like, well, no, not the cheese collection. I don't know what they were pulling at for the cheese collection, y'all. Like who, what, when, where, why, and how? I'm still flabbergasted by that collection but the lucky charms one like that one i was like oh that's so cute like the brushes i was not interested in the palette at all so let me get my screen record back together because i'm sure there have been more things released since yesterday so one of the things i did want to quickly mention because this came out friday and i had already filmed was that makeup geek is closing their brand i personally have never tried makeup geek and i think I'm going to grab some singles, even though I said I was not buying singles, but this is an exception because it's definitely a brand that I wanted to try and had no idea that they'd be closing. I know many people love their matrix eyeshadow palettes and their formula in general. I watched the video this morning. I did not know too much about the brand, but it's definitely unfortunate what's happening to a lot of businesses because of the pandemic and i think people's views on makeup and how they're wearing makeup and how much makeup they're wearing has definitely changed given the whole situation and i know in the video the owner said like it she's just even surprised that they bounce back as much as they did so i know it was really bittersweet for her but she was talking about other things that you know she has coming and that this was such a learning experience for her not really a stepping stone but just only part of what she is destined to do i know that the website is 40 percent off right now and i did see that a lot of things 
are sold out so I'm gonna have to like put together my little palette quickly I was just thinking about maybe doing a 9 or 12 pan palette just so I can experience it and try it before it's gone just wanted to mention that I'm sure you all have um, you know seen a lot of posts and things like that at this time all right I am gonna scoot over now and let's get back into it y'all without the foolery this time so getting back on to makeup release radar and of course there have been some things posted since Thursday let's see we have a release from sugary cosmetics I've never heard of this brand but there is a melted concealer palette that has 12 shades and a translucent powder so these look like just really creamy shades I don't need anything like this this looks like something for a makeup artist that does make up on a variety of complexions so this would not be useful uh, in my collection at all Ooh, okay i did see this and i am like slightly intrigued by it this is by cxc beauty and this is their lady luck uh, collection so you've got the palette you've got a liquid lip gloss it looks like and a cream blush and a highlighter did i say that i'm a sucker for these like green type highlighters i have two from divina cosmetics that i really love and i like this palette the green is not too like pastel y because i don't really do the pastels so i really like the shades of greens that are there and i like the shades on the bottom because actually it looks like you've got a a blue and this looks like maybe a i don't know it almost looks like a very light purple on those two left shades so i don't know that highlighter looks so good and that orange cream blush looks beautiful and look at the swatches here are the swatches let's see these look really nice so let's see the bundle price is 119 dollars now i think the palette might be 54 but i didn't see if you could buy the highlighter or the cream blush or the gloss separately i didn't see that let me know if you've tried cxc beauty and if you like it all right let's move on sugar drizzle polish is restocking their gnome chrome halloween palette this is is it all shimmers it looks like an all shimmers palette i'm almost certain i have this formula in a lot of other palettes that i have so it's not to knock them but i know this is something i don't need in my collection but if you don't have all shimmer palettes like this is beautiful gosh how much comes out overnight it's like within like a couple days it looks like Givenchy is releasing a skincare foundation that's not surprising I think every brand is going to go through their skincare foundation release this year so there's 35 shades and medium coverage it's going to be 49 dollars I'm going to pass on that Sigma Beauty has some color correcting duos that are coming out there are three versions and they're $30 a piece. This is definitely a pass for me. I just don't use color correctors and I just don't see me needing a product like that. Mora Cosmetics is coming out with some Love Heat blushes and they're gonna be $8.50. There are six shades. Are these? Yeah, they're cream blushes. So these are very pretty. I'm just gonna have to limit the blush situation because I just have so much. These MAC blushes also look very nice and this is part of their spring 2022 collection. There's a skin finish there and there's some lippies. Again, I've never tried the blushes, but I know a lot of people like those Glow Play blushes. Right now, this is gonna be a pass for me. They're $33 each. The skin finish is $39.50 and the lipsticks are $23. Drunk Elephant is coming out with a Wonder World Miracle Butter. And this can be used on the face, lips, eyes, and bodies. August, I just want you to know that you switched my camera um, mic so that it didn't work. What? Yeah, so in the video for tomorrow where you were supposed to be sharing all the stuff about the donuts and stuff, I'm gonna have you're gonna have to do a voiceover later and tell them what you were saying because I don't remember. We have a restock from Adept Cosmetics. This is the Ninhydrin palette. I do own this palette and it is very, very beautiful. It, this is a pre-order. It is gonna ship in April, but 
I don't know if this is permanent or, or not. She continues to restock it, but this is a very beautiful palette. I really like this one a lot. Now. So here are some more shades by JD Glow Cosmetics. And these are the multi-chromes. They're $16 each. I just don't need these. I'm not really buying any singles, well, except for these makeup geek ones, but these are beautiful. JD Glow has very large pan sizes as well. Just so you know, we have the bloom palette by clarity cosmetics that is restocking. This one is kind of tugging at me. I really like this color story. And what I like about it is it's not all, all over the place. Like I'm looking at a pink look or kind of a blue green look. Obviously you can mix them up, but that's what I'm seeing. And I, I like being able to see that. I don't know. Let me know. But clarity gives me, give me glow vibes. So I'm just not sure. It looks like these may be pressed pigments and not eyeshadows. So let me know. I know that the mattes in Give Me Glow aren't the easiest ones to work with, but I always create a really beautiful look when I use those shades. And I could see the same thing happening with this palette. So this is $48. Hmm. I'm going to think on that one. It's really, really pretty. Unearthly Cosmetics is coming out with some blushes and there are eight of them. And I believe that these are being sent to me. So I will definitely have a video with these blushes. I really like all of the shades. You've got pinks and you've got those like orangey blushes. They're really beautiful and they're they're satiny, so I'm very curious about that. We have a new beauty brand from Winnie Harlow, and it's called K Skin. So it looks like she has an Isle Glow Face Lotion with SPF. There's a lip balm. There is a Universal Mineral Face Lotion with SPF. I am gonna pass on this. I really don't need any type of skincare, to be honest, so. I'm just trying to skip this stuff because I, I don't need it. Suku has their Summer 22 collection that's releasing. So we see there are a variety of products. We have lipsticks, we have blushes, some eyeshadow quads and lip balms and a highlighter and nail polish. I do like the color stories of this. It seems like Suku is not super pigmented, which I don't know for sure, but just from what I've seen. I know that works for some people, but they're on a pricier side so it's just not something that i'm willing to try right now and these aren't things that i need these lipsticks do look nice but they are a pass for me let's talk about danessa myricks she has a release coming out called the yummy skin collection now it looks like it's going to be comprised of a serum foundation. It's gonna have 26 shades, $34, and it's refillable. Here are the swatches. There's going to be, what is this? A glow serum that comes in two shades. So again, we have another skincare release. So I would say, just look at the ingredients and see which ones you're looking for because we don't need all the skincare releases. You know what I mean? Charlotte Tilbury has a glow toner. This is supposed to reduce the look of pores and smooth the skin. And this is going to be available in April. Wayne Guys did release his blushes. I did purchase, I want to say the Desert Blossom one. Whichever one has the rose gold highlighter is the one I got. And I also purchased one of the lipsticks. So this is the blush that I purchased. And then I purchased the shade Iris, but I'm not sure which one is which here. This is crazy because these uh, blush palettes, I know there are slight differences, but they're so, so, so close to one another. I just felt like one blush and one lipstick would be cool. Uh, Sydney Grace has a March bundle. This is really pretty. I do have a couple of these shades, but um, I like this combo together. This is something I could definitely imitate with my singles but yeah this is a really cute combo with the blue and brown and this is again a pass for me okay let's see if there's anything else dior has released their backstage flash perfector concealer comes in 22 shades and it's 29 dollars i am not sure about the difference in finish between the backstage and then the forever skin glow that i have but i'm gonna pass on this for now 
And then we have Hermes, who now has a Radiant Globe. $80. Okay, that's not happening for me at this time. I do believe that Gwen Stefani's brand Give is now available at Sephora. So there are four eyeshadow quads. We've got a liquid lipstick and then some red lipstick. It's definitely signature for Gwen Stefani. Here are the brow products. This is a pass for me. Like I don't really like red lipstick and I think the eyeshadow quads are just okay. It also has a face oil, but yeah. This is, this is all a pass for me, but definitely congrats on, you know, the brand release. Let's see if there's anything else. We've got a restock of the Smoky Nostalgia collection from Kaleidos, and this is available now. I am still holding out on this, at least the blushes. I was not interested in the lip clays or the eyeshadow palettes. And then we have a new release by NYX Cosmetics. This is the Line Loud Longwear, Vegan Longwear Lip Liner. Um, 18 shades, transfer proof, waterproof, and cruelty free. This is available at Ulta. I do like NYX. I don't, I have a couple of their lip liners. I use their eyeliners all the time. I use their brow products. It's definitely, um, you know, if you need to stock up on some lip liners. We have a limited restock from It's Bell Cosmetics. Hmm. So I do have the Dawn of Fall palette. I still need to film with that. I like that palette the best of the three that she's released because I just like that color story. I'm just curious to see if the formula is the same as like Adept or what I have from Unearthly or even some of my eyeshadow singles. But yes, if you are interested in any of those shimmer palettes, there's a limited restock. We have a palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics. Hmm. So this is the Magnificent Face and Palette. This is an absolute no. I just don't even like the setup of this at all. It's $45.51. I just, I don't like this at all. I don't, I'm just not feeling it at all. We also have a release by Byredo. So there is the Flora Kalahari Eyeshadow Palette. It is $96. That's a lot. I don't know much about this brand to spend that money. And there's the Astronomical Mascara, which is $46. No thanks. Now look at this, Pizzazz by Jazz Cosmetics. So this is called the Don't Touch My Hair Collection. This is cute, but it's an easy pass for me, but I like how it's modeled around black hair care products, like the bobby pins, the rollers, they got the Blue Magic Lip Scrub, the Pump It Up Rose Water, uh, looks like a setting spray. This is cute, it is. There's a lip gloss, there's a highlighter, Dew Glow is, um, modeled after do grow yeah this is cute lash for me is modeled after just for me that's like the little kids i think it's like the kids perm the bobby pins lash applicator let me know what y'all think about this it's definitely unique it's definitely a special uh release look at the shade names too roller set 4c wrap protective style wash and go bonnet it's, it's cute kaleidos is releasing a coconut lip oil treatment this is gonna be a pass. I'm still working through my lip masks that I love. I wear them every single day. So I'm just gonna stick with that. MAC has a new mascara coming out. Stack infinite layers of volume and length. This is out now. Curious about this because um, I'm really into mascara nowadays since I'm not wearing lashes and I've got my lashes to grow. But you know, so with some mascaras, like the more you layer them, the clumpier they get so this looks like they're saying you can build infinite layers it's got a unique brush so maybe try that out not sure tatcha's sunscreen serum is available i do want to try this but um not right now i did mention this though maybe for vib possibly 
definitely curious about it. I don't think this is a primer, so maybe that's something you could use if you have the um, liquid canvas or something like that. But right now I have the sunscreen primer, so I don't really need this. We have some new palettes by Beauty Bay. They are monochromatic. Kind of interesting because what they did was it came out with three themes, earthy, midnight, and berries but they came out with them in different sizes. So there's something for everyone. If you like big palettes, they have the big palette. If you like medium sized palettes, you know, they've got the, the medium sized palette. And then if you like smaller pans, you got the, the nine pans. So I see what they did there. This is all a pass for me, but I do like the palette size options. I think that's a great idea for them. So I think that's pretty smart. Enchanted Luster, this is a brand that I think is on Etsy, at least on Etsy, I don't know if they have a website, but they are coming out with a palette called The Hunter. Definitely would like to try Enchanted Luster. They had these other palettes that were like all shimmers. They looked really pretty and I cannot remember what they were called, but this definitely is something I want to keep an eye out for. Mm-hmm, definitely wanna keep an eye out for that. All right, I think that we've hit everything here. Game Beauty has something coming out soon, so there's kinda just a lot to look, look forward to, or just releases, not forward to buying, but just, you know, we keeping our eye out for things. Dior has these tattoo lip tints. These kinda remind me of the Maybelline Superstay inks, so that's a pass for sure. Let's move on y'all. Wait, before we move on, did we talk about this Lethal Cosmetics palette, the Night Flower collection? So I ended up ordering this and it's on its way. I can't remember, I ordered the palette in two of the liners. I'm actually glad that I did because yesterday I watched a review by Angelica and I really liked how it looked. And there's even a blue shade. I think it may be a duochrome. So the swatches looked really good. I watched the YouTube video from the brand itself. And I loved, I loved the swatches. So let's just see what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna keep saying moving on and I'm not moving on. Clarity Cosmetics has some blushes coming out. Five of 18 new matte blushes. Wow. So those aren't out yet. Maybe I could order that with the Bloom palette. Maybe I don't need to order anything. All right, now we're gonna move on. Let's go to Trend Mood. Ulta's announcing their 21 Days of Beauty, which is coming soon, starting March 13th. So let's just keep that in mind. I don't know, I've never shopped it, so we shall see this year. And here's Tosh and her pastel palette. So, <sighs> you know, I want to make myself like this, but the only thing I can say about this one is I would purchase this palette as a companion palette. And I'm thinking in my collection of Natasha Denona palettes, this would be a great companion for Circo Loco and Trio Chrome. So if I purchase it during VIB on a sale, it's going to be used in conjunction with those other palettes or just something else because I'm not gonna make a look that I enjoy from this palette by itself. I need some mattes, something deeper. It could be colorful, but it needs to be deeper. And the Trio Chrome palette does have some pastels in it that show up great. But I did watch a review on this and it looks like the shades really do take a lot to build up. So I'm just not sure if, well, I'm sure that I don't want to buy it full price. I can say that I'm sure about that. So I'm just gonna keep my eye on it. I'm curious about the, like that multi-chrome shade that's supposedly in there, but I think that's gonna be very transparent. I, yeah, I'm on the fence. I'm, I'm even on the fence about buying it as a companion palette, but that's my thinking. It's not a standalone palette for me. This is a smaller size, $65, and I know it's gonna be available soon. Let's see, we'll just see about that. Yeah, like see these swatches? I, mm, I don't know y'all. That's gonna be it for Trend Mood. Let's check out Makeup Craze. Makeup Craze definitely has the dates for the Sephora Rouge VIB sale. It's gonna be starting April 1st. 
So, you know, I think at this point, anything that we want can wait. It's less than a month away. So that's just something to keep in mind. We have a new powder from Huda Beauty, Cherry Blossom. Uh, this is a brightening powder. I'm not sure if I'm, I don't need any powder. So let's just click over that and stop acting like we need it because I don't. Let's go to Chic Profile Official. I am not really seeing anything here. Oh, but you know what I did want to share? I wanted to share that Tammy Tanuka. So let me move over because I think that's going to be it. If I missed anything, please let me know. This video, I feel like it's going to take a long time to edit. I'm so like flustered with losing that footage like that. But Tammy Tanuka is um, suspending her egg palettes for right now. So, you know, every week I've been looking at those palettes and I told you guys, like, I just wanted to look at her website to just see the different uh, colors as they're going to be released in the palette. So, you know, the eggs hatch into these cute little animals. And then on certain days of the month, she releases the shades to the palette. And then once all six shades are released, then the palette, you know, come becomes available to buy. So the one, the last one I have is the Peacock palette, which I still need to use and do a video on, but she's suspending it right now. And I know it's due to everything that's going on over in Russia. As far as the black glove palette that I ordered, I hadn't heard anything about it, but I did get an email from her and you know, UPS is not going to ship the palette. So she said she can still ship it by Russian post or she could do a refund. I still want the palette. So whenever it gets here, it gets here. Like just go ahead and ship it through Russian post. You know, there's way more serious things going on in the world right now. So like, I'm not being impressed about an eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? I want it, but when it gets here, it'll get here. I just think it's unfortunate because she has a great brand and I know a lot more people are discovering her brand and are excited and really are into the palettes, especially like the, with her, with the press shadows, you know, cause she comes out with a bunch of color stories with loose pigments and things like that. And loose pigments aren't everyone's cup of tea, but those six pan palettes and the seven pan palettes are really, really nice. And just the fact that with the egg palettes, she gives you the option to buy the palette in a regular size or a mini. I love that, you know? So hopefully things will be able to get back on track eventually. But right now the situation over in Russia and Ukraine is so crazy. Like the palette can wait, like it's like, it's out of control. That I feel like is going to be the end of this purchase or pass. If I miss anything again, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's anything that you're thinking about. You know, are we tired yet of what we're seeing? Let me know. Let me know. I know one thing I won't be getting is that damn cheese collection. They, you know what? Some, they need to just retract that whole collection. I'm sorry. I just, Anyway, let me go. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for another purchase or pass. I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.